Hello, I'm Jacob and today I'm gonna be showing you how to set up Quixel Bridge to expose a huge library of mega scans to Unreal Engine as well as custom-made models like these background mountains, which you'll get for free. Let's get started. Megascans is a huge asset library, ranging from surfaces, atlases to 3D photo scans. And best of all, it's completely free to all Unreal Engine users. You can download assets you need and Bridge will do everything for you. Export them to Unreal, and automatically create the materials, file structure, and you can just focus on creating realistic, good-looking worlds. So, first of all, we need to download Bridge. So I'm on the quickstyle.com site. Let's go to products, choose bridge, and now just click on the download button in the middle and install it. When the bridge is installed and we open it for the first time, we have to set up a few things before we start downloading assets. So I'm gonna click on edit, settings, and here we have to set the library path location where all the downloaded mega scans and custom assets will be stored. So I recommend choosing the location where you have plenty of free space, because trust me, when you have access to almost 15,000 assets, it will quickly get really, really heavy. Next, we have to install plugin for Unreal Engine to export assets with a single click. So let's go to Edit and Export Settings. The window on the right will pop up. Make sure you have Unreal Engine selected. Set your version you currently use. For me, it's 4.26 and set the plugin location. Uh, it says to set it in plugins folder. So now you have to find where you installed your Unreal on your disk. Go to engine and select plugins folder. Okay, give it a few seconds, let it install. And when it's finished, we just have to sign in, right? So I'm gonna click on the top right here and choose to sign in with Epic Games account. And when you do it, you will immediately get access to the entire library. So as you can see, all the assets are divided into categories, collections. Everything is very simple and intuitive. So if you are looking for something specific, it's really easy to find it. So for example, I need some rocks to create my scene. So I'm gonna search it here. Type rocks. Yes, I need 3D model. I like this one. And when I click on it, the window on the right will open. There is a preview on the top right. And we can also preview all the textures. So albedo, displacement, normal. You can see everything here. And even see the entire model. Let's maximize window. And yeah, this is a very useful option to check the assets before downloading. I'm gonna minimize it. Before downloading, let's check some options. So click on the settings icon on the bottom here and download settings. So here you can choose which textures or models you need. So for example, you can download just LOD zero mesh. And on the right, it says how many triangles each LOD has. If you are creating a game, I recommend using like five LODs. And sometimes I would even skip the LOD zero mesh. Yes, the model is less detailed, but this is very important. In game, you don't need that many triangles, really. The textures are doing so much work if you work in scale, focus on world composition, follow rules. You can even use LOD3 and still have good environment for a game. So don't underestimate it. Now let's move to export settings and choose textures. This is very similar. Here you can choose which textures you want to export for a given asset. So for example, in surfaces, I don't want a displacement map. So I'm gonna just uncheck it. This is very intuitive. When we move on to models, you can also choose to export specific mesh. For now, I'm gonna leave it as it is. I don't need to change it. Let's close this window. And now last thing you have to do is to choose the resolution of the textures. For me, 4K is perfect. And let's hit download button. So when it's finished, all the files you downloaded will be in the local folder here on the left. So as you can see, it's here. Okay, everything is prepared. So let's launch Unreal Engine and import this mesh. So I've prepared a simple lever with basic lighting. Megascans plugin is here. If you don't see this icon, go to Edit, Plugins, and search Megascans. And make sure it's enabled. Okay. 
Now let's go back to bridge and when I click export and wait a few seconds, it will basically do everything for us. So import textures, mesh, setup materials, file structure, everything. Every asset you imported is stored in Megascans folder. Of course, you can move it somewhere else, but for now, I'm going to leave it here. We have a mesh, all the textures and the material, which is really good and advanced, but this is topic for another video. And now you can start building your world. So I'm going to bring it into my level. And it looks great. And you can also use it to import custom assets. And today we are going to use these mountains as an example. So if you are interested in getting this, go to the first link in the description and you can just download them for free. By the way, they are like the background mountains, so they are more intended to fill the horizon than to actually walk on them. So when you download it and unpack these mountains, basically now you have to drag and drop these folders here. Everything is already prepared, so let's just check if everything is right. So 4K textures, albedo, normal, roughness, everything is fine. If you have your own assets, remember to name it properly to help Bridge recognize different textures. So I recommend calling it like this. Name, underscore, texture resolution, underscore, and texture type. You can also like change the name or add some tags here if you want. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Okay, let's click import all because we have few assets here. And when it's finished, go to local and import it. And here they are. So for example, I'm gonna choose this one, 4K resolution and let's click export. Give it a few seconds. And when we get back to Unreal, it's ready to be used. Each mountain is around 1000 triangles, more or less. So if this is too much for you, you can easily reduce it by double clicking on the mesh. In details, find the LOD0 options, click on reduction settings and change the percent triangles parameter, which reduces triangles and set it to like 20, for example, apply. And now it's 16,000 triangles, which for a game is great. So, thank you for watching. By the way, if you need some high quality alpha brushes, check out the last video where we created and sculpted pretty dang good landscape. Consider subscribing for more content just like this, and if you have any more questions, please let me know.